all right so now uh, we'll be understanding what are methods uh, methods are basically block of statements which are used to do a specific task right so what we uh, generally do in methods is like uh, let's say we have a big task to achieve uh, what we what we actually do we divide that task into different different uh, blocks uh, so that whichever thing that we actually need to execute we just uh, take the name of that block and we execute that block right and uh, same way whichever is not required will not gonna call that thing so till the time you won't call that block that will not be executed so methods uh, are generally used to divide a, a large code into manageable chunks of code right so whichever uh, uh, whichever uh, uh, block of code that you want to call uh, no matter how many times you want to call it just call that particular block and whichever uh, that you don't want to call you you can avoid calling that particular uh, chunk of code right so uh, it means like uh, if, if you remember uh, initially when we get started so what uh, we were doing we were actually uh, creating a class and let's say I give this name as learning methods right I'll check this public static void. Right now, if you remember, uh, this main uh, this thing is also a method, right? Because uh, we were actually writing some piece of code over here, right? Let's have written. Uh, uh, I was printing something. Uh, let's say, uh, hi, how are you? Right now, this code is inside a method. This main is basically a method. This is a by default method in Java, anything that you want to execute uh, has to be present inside this main method. So if I run uh, this, it will actually gonna print this thing, right? Now I can write uh, like a thousand lines of code over here, right? But if I want to execute it, uh, let's say I've, I've written uh, a program to calculate two numbers, right? Then I've written some other piece of code. Then I again want to write uh, execute the calculation of the program the addition of uh, the same thing so what I need to do I again need to write the same piece of information again. right so n number of time if I want to execute the addition I actually need to write the same piece of code again because I am inside one main method and whatever that I write inside this method that will be executed and uh, let's say if i want to comment uh, if i want if i don't want to execute any piece of block then i have to comment it either by writing double backslash or by writing this comment block against that particular state right so in any ways uh, all the code that i'm going to write uh, will be inside uh, one method only, right so the better way the better approach of uh, handling these things are to create methods that is why the methods are being implemented right uh, there are uh, some some syntax uh, there are uh, some uh, declaration of method that is a uh, very important thing so these are uh, the six items six mandatory items for a method whenever you are creating a method whenever you're declaring a method right there has to be uh, an access modifier right now what are access modifiers what are return types the, the method name the parameter list right the method body, the start uh, of the method and the end of the method, right? So what are these things? We'll uh, gonna take a look at uh, this in this uh, particular lecture, right? Now let us declare uh, a method over here. Uh, let us go back to Eclipse and let us uh, create some methods to get a better understanding. So let's see uh, how to declare a method let's say uh, i create a method uh, that should display something right so let's say how how uh, we declare at the body of a method so i was write public void and then uh, display right and then the, these are uh, the brackets and then we have uh, the open curly braces and the closed curly braces so this is uh, basically the body of a method. So if we talk uh, what we have just done, we have uh, basically uh, declare a method, right? 
we have declare a method right now declare declaring a method as in uh, we declare uh, some uh, variables let's say uh, i declare a variable like this so this is like a uh, declaration uh, of a variable and then i initialize uh, this variable with some values right but we cannot initialize a method we can declare a method and then we actually define this method right now if we write this much only it means that i have just declared a method i have not yet defined a method it means that if you if you actually call this method it will still gonna be executed right it, it will not gonna throw any error but nothing will be executed because we have not written anything inside the body of this method. So anything that uh, we need to define all definitions will uh, come here like all definitions goes here right. Now before we start defining anything, we first need to understand uh, what is this, what is this public, what is this void, right, what what are these things, what these things actually tell us, right. So we first need to understand, we have just written our syntax of a method, right, now what all these things are doing, these are very important to know. Now uh, if you take a look over here, uh, we actually discussed uh, these are the six mandatory things uh, that needs to be implemented uh, when we are creating a method right now i cannot change the sequence uh, the sequence the way uh, these things are defined i cannot change the sequence it means i i cannot uh, remove this public from here and just write it over here this will not gonna work see uh, the compiler is actually throwing some error right so i cannot change the sequence the sequence has to be like this only right but uh, what is this public uh, these are basically access modifiers right now what are access modifiers we have a detailed discussion about access modifiers in our upcoming lectures right for the time being uh, like public uh, is it, this actually uh, define the visibility of this uh, this method right so this public, uh, it could be public, it could be private, it could be protected, it could be default. There, there are n number of access modifiers available, right? For today, uh, we are not going to discuss about access modifiers, right? So just take it as it is for the time being and uh, till we proceed with our lectures. So th these things will be very much clear to you. Now, uh, the next thing over here is basically the return type. So we're going to talk about what what return type is uh, why the return type is required to a method right then uh, the third thing is the method name and the fourth one is the parameter list and finally uh, we have a method body that starts with uh, the open curly uh, braces and ends with the closed curly braces and whatever code that you're gonna write will be inside this curly braces only now let's uh, understand these things so uh, the very first thing uh, public uh, we are not going to talk about this right now we'll just take it as it is for for the day right uh, this is access modifiers we'll be studying it in the coming lectures now second thing what is uh, this this is uh, basically uh, the return type right now this will define what this method will actually gonna return right so return in the sense if it if you're talking about a return type then it should uh, actually gonna return some data type value right data type of the value returned by the method this is basically right so it could be any data type right it could now this method could return uh, integer value if it is returning an integer value i actually need to write int over here if this method is giving us a string value then i need to write string over here if this is returning a character value then i need to uh, give the character data type over here so this thing is basically uh, a return type and 
if we are defining any return type with the method then you can see the compiler is basically giving us some error right because we need to add another keyword keyword that says return whenever we are defining a return type to a method we need to add a keyword that is return so if you mouse over onto this display method you can see that this method must return a result of the type int so what i need to do i actually need to write this keyword return inside this uh, method block and i need to return a value uh, that is uh, that matches this data type right so if the value if the data type is int over here so i'll be returning the integer value only right and then the error we go, go away i cannot return any string value over here if the data type is integer if the data type is string then i can return the value string so whatever data type uh, the return type of this method is the same value you actually need to return uh, from this method so either you can hard code this value or you can store it inside some variable uh, x equal to hello and you can uh, return this variable over here like this right but it has to be of the same data type so a return statement must be the last statement of this method right so if this method is returning something so that has to be returned using this return statement and this should be the last statement of this block i cannot write this thing just above this right it will gonna throw me an error even uh, let's say i cannot write it like this the compiler will actually gonna throw an error it says unreachable code right so this has to be the last statement of this method right now it's not mandatory that every method should return uh, you something right if you don't want to return anything from a method uh, so you can uh, you should not write this return statement and if you are not writing this uh, if you're not returning anything then the method should be void right so if, if the method is void you can execute anything uh, from the method let's say this method prints only display uh, inside the display method so i'll i'll just gonna write uh, system dot out dot print ln inside and display method right so I'm just printing this statement. In this case, uh, there is no re need to return anything. And again, it doesn't mean that if the method is uh, not returning anything, so uh, you should think that we should not write anything over here, right? Either uh, this should be a void method or it should be a non-void method, but with some uh, return type or with some data type, right? So if the method is not returning anything, so this should be a void method. So let us uh, recap what we have seen uh, so far in uh, like when we are talking about method return type. So it may be possible that a method return a value or it uh, does not returns any value, right? So return type of a method is nothing but the data type of the value returned by the method. For example, uh, if a method returns integer, the return type should be integer. If it returns float, the return type should be float for character, character, boolean, boolean, and so on, right? And if a method does not have any return type, then that method should be a void method, right? And if a method is returning a value, then the last statement of the method should be return statement. And any code after the return statement is not reachable. So you should not write return any any other statement after the return statement. It has to be the last statement of that method. 